All right, so moving on to the last example for allegation here. A physician orders one liter of 3% sodium chloride injection for a sodium depleted patient. You have 0.9% sodium chloride injection, which is essentially the normal saline, in one liter bag, and sodium chloride injection 23.4% in 50 ml. How many milliliters of the 23.4% solution will you add to the one liter bag of 0.9% normal saline to prepare the 3% sodium chloride injection? And then they're giving you the molecular weight um, of the sodium and the chlorine. Now, as we said, let's look at what percentage you are required to prepare. So you are required to prepare a 3% sodium chloride. So we will start with that. So we'll write the 3% here, and this is the requirement from you to prepare. And now you have two compounds with different uh, percentage of the active ingredient, which is the sodium chloride here. So you have the normal saline, which is 0.9%, and you have the uh, sodium chloride 23.4% in 50 ml vials and um, you are required to uh, to calculate how many milliliters of the 23.4 percent you will need to add to the normal saline to get to the three percent here so after writing the percentage that you are required to prepare you're going to put the two compounds the higher uh, percentage up and the lower percentage down. So the higher percentage here is the 23.4% and the lower percentage is the normal saline, which is 0.9%. All right, and then now, after you've um, prepared that, you will do the math. So uh, you need to subtract, subtract, sorry, diagonally. So 23.4 minus the 3% will be 20.4%. And that's the parts of the 0 0.9 normal saline. And then the 0 0.9 minus the 3 will be the 2.1 parts. And that's of the 23.4% of the sodium chloride. Next, you will be adding these parts. So 2.1 plus 20.4 will give you the total amount of parts for um, the required uh, 3%. So 20.4 plus 2.1 will give you the 22.5 parts of the 3%. Okay, so now that you have this all set, we'll go back and read what is required. So you are required to, um, to calculate the milliliters of the amount of milliliters of the 23.4 that you need to add to the normal saline. And you already have given here the amount of normal saline. So the amount of normal saline that you're going to be at the 23.4% to is one liter. So be very careful here with the units. You have a one liter bag and you want to get the milliliters of the 24 3.4 and that is why you always have to write the units. So you will need to uh, convert the one liter into mLs and that will be equal so 1 times 1000 that will be equal to 1000 mLs. So you have the units matching here. All right. So to calculate the amount of mLs needed for the 23.4 sodium chloride. Again, we will be doing the crisscross here. So 2.1 parts times the 1000 mLs over the 20.4 parts. And we'll calculate that 2.1 times 1000 divided by 20.4, that will give you 102.94, and that is gonna be mLs. And again, here um, in this question, it does not specify 
what you need to round. So is it going to be to the nearest uh, whole number? Is it to the nearest one decimal place, two decimal place? So if it's going to be to the nearest 100, then you're going to round that to 103 mLs. If it's to the nearest one decimal place, it will be 102.9 mLs. And if it's to the nearest two decimal places, then it will be 102.94 mLs. So always look out for uh, the question. What is What are they asking you to round up to? So this is the last question um, and the exercises for allegation. I hope that um, you found everything clear. I hope that um, this helped you to understand how allegation problems work. If you have any questions, if you have any feedback, or if there's anything you want to add, please make sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching.